thanking God, we glorify His name, we worship Him. I have a very important message for you guys today, beautiful people out there. And as you're listening, God bless you. My topic for today is, be not only hearers of the word, but also doers of the word. It's very important to every believer, every Christian, everyone out there that is a child of God. You don't just hear the word alone, but also be a doer of the word, and your life will be fruitful. My Bible verse is taken from James chapter 1, verse 22. But be ye hearers, be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Let's take note of that word, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself, and goeth his way, and straight away forgetteth what manner of man he was. But whosoever looketh into the perfect law of liberty, and continueth therein, he be not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in a day, in his deed. I pray that as you be a doer of the word, a hearer and also a doer of the word, you'll be blessed in your deed in Jesus' name. It's very important that we are not only hearers, but also doers of the word. It's very important that when we hear the word of God, when we receive the word with our heart, and that is what I want to point out to you guys today, is not just about being a hearer of the word and a doer of the word, but also what kind of heart are you using to be a hearer and also a doer of the word? You know, being a hearer of the word and a doer of the word is one thing. But the heart which you used to receive the word, which you used to hear the word, and which you used to do the word, is the most important thing. Let's remember David was a man after God's heart. Despite all the sins he committed, but God keeps looking at the heart. God looks at the heart. The most important thing is the heart. Whether you're a doer or the hearer of the word, the most important thing is your heart. Do you have a heart for God? Do you love God? Do you love your neighbor as yourself? Are you, are you, are you, do you have a heart for God? Or are you just being a hearer of the word and worshipping God so that you benefit things from it, so that you have financial benefits? It's very important that we don't just be only a hearer of the word and a doer, but we must have a heart for God. Why we do and hear the word? Because God looks at the heart. The Bible says God searched the heart and he rewarded every man according to his word, to his deed. So I want to tell you today, wherever you are, wherever you are listening to the word of God, wherever you are studying your Bible, wherever you are listening to praise and worship from God, wherever you are today, I want you to be not a forgetful hearer of the word, but a doer of the word, but somebody that does the word and keeps the word in his heart. The Bible says, But whosoever looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, be not a forgetful hearer. Do not be a forgetful hearer of the word, but also a doer of the work. This man shall be blessed in his deed. As you be a hearer of the word today and a doer of the word, you'll be blessed in your deed. You'll be blessed in every work of your hands. And do it most importantly, the most important message I want to pass to you guys today is whatever you do in your work with God, your heart is the most important. Your heart is the key. The Bible says with the heart man believeth and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Let, let your heart be pure. Have a pure heart for God. Have a heart panting for the word of God. Let it not just be about what I can get from God. What am I going to benefit from God? What is there for me? Let your heart be for God. The Bible said, the Bible said whosoever loveth me will obey my commandments. So it's very important that while we be a hearer of the word, it's important we receive the word. We hear the word with a good heart because the word of God is the seed and our heart is the ground. And our heart must be a good ground. To receive the word so we can be a doer 
of the word. Because you can receive the word with your heart, with a, with a heart that is not a good ground, and at the end of the day, you will not be a doer of the work. And at the end of the day, your work might not be acceptable to God. The question is, how is your heart? The question is, where is your heart? Is your heart focused on the kingdom of God? Is your heart focused on advancing the kingdom of God? Or your heart is just focused on your benefits? Let's search our hearts properly. And most importantly, I'll keep saying this. Keep, connect, keep your connection with God. Stay connected to God where you are today. And most importantly, wherever you are now, throughout the past week, if you have backslided, give your life to Christ. Surrender your heart to God. The Bible says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Give your heart to Christ. Give your life to God. Surrender your heart to Christ. Repent of your old ways. If you are still in sin, repent of your ways. Give your life to Christ. Repent of your old ways and follow Jesus. Have the mind of Christ. Live like Christ. Because the Bible says, if any man be in Christ Jesus, he is a new creature. All things are passed away and behold, all things have become new. So, I pray that God will give us the grace to be hearers of the word and also doers of the word with a good heart for God, with a genuine heart for God. Stay connected to God. God bless you wherever you are. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.